Hi everyone, in this session we are going to discuss about confidential information or trade secrets. Confidential information shall mean all information that is not known to the public respecting the business of the company relating to research and development, processes, trade secrets, customers, supplies, finances and business plans and strategies. So what all is confidential information or what can be confidential information? It can be anything that is related to research and development, the processes, the trade secrets, the customer, the data of the customers, the suppliers, the data relating to suppliers, the finance and business plans and strategies. So all these can be confidential information and trade secret as well. Now confidential information means any known public information pertaining to a company's business. Confidential information include information disclosed by company to its employee and information developed or learned by employee during the course of course of or as a result of his employment with company. So it can be either disclosed by the company to the employee or it also includes all that information that the employee learns or develops develop the knowledge during the course or as a result of his employment with that particular company. So confidential information includes 1. Information concerning company's processes, 2. Information of suppliers, 3. Information of customers, 4. Information relating to advertising and marketing plans, 5. Business strategies, then 6. Profit margins, then 7. Seasonal plans, goals, objectives, and projections. Then, eighth, compilations, analysis, and projections regarding company's division, stores, product segments, product lines, supplies, sales, and expenses. Then, the ninth one, trade secrets and patent applications. That is prior to their being uh, public. So, if uh, the company is going to apply for a patent application and prior to the publication if this information is leaked another competitor might apply for this patent. So trade secrets and patent applications prior to their being public that is confidential information. Now this tenth one salary, staffing and employment information including information about performance of other executives and the 11th one know-how techniques and any technical information not of a public nature relating to the working of the company. Now a person engaged in production of some article rendering services may not be in a position to produce the article or render services by himself under all circumstances. Many a time he will be forced to employ servants or agents to assist him in production of articles of goods and rendering services. Then the employer will be forced to disclose some information regarding the mode of manufacturing of the article to the servants or agents. Most employees during the course of their daily working activities have access to confidential company information and data. The information or idea will be disclosed to the servants or agents because of the confidence in them. There is no copyright in ideas or information as such and accordingly there is no remedy under Copyright Act for unauthorized use of the confidential information or idea obtained directly or indirectly by one person from another. However, it is a well settled principle that information imparted in confidence to servants or agents will be protected by the courts. So there is an obligation on the part of the person who has obtained the information in confidence not to use it as a springboard for activities detrimental to the person who made the confidential communication. So an employee may not either during his employment or after the termination of his employment divulge or use confidential information obtained by him 
during the course of his employment. So, it is not only during the course of employment, even after termination, he cannot make use of this confidential information. Thus, an employer or an ex-employee, thus an employee or an ex-employee may be restrained by an order of injunction from using or disclosing a confidential information to the detriment of the employer. The law of breach of confidence works to protect the misuse of confidential information and trade secrets. In order to succeed in an action for breach of confidence, the plaintiff must establish few things. That is mainly three points. That is the first one, the information conveyed has the necessary quality of confidence about it at the time when it was given. Now, the second point that the circumstances in which the information was given imparted an obligation of confidence upon the receiver. And the last one, the party conveying the confidential information suffered a detriment as a result of the unauthorized use of information by the recipient of the confidential information. So, what are the three things that we have to establish that it was given on confidence, there was a necessary quality of confidence while it was given and this imparted an obligation on the receiver and the act of the receiver on using this information has caused a detriment to the person who has given the confidential communication. So, the following remedies are available when a successful action for breach of confidence has been brought. The first one is damages. The second one, deliver up and destruction of infringing materials. The third one, account of profits. And the fourth one, injunction. This is available if the information has not yet been divulged, but it is likely that an unauthorized disclosure will occur. So, the remedies available here is very much similar to that of the remedy, uh, civil remedies in uh, Copyright Act. The first one is damages, the second one is deliver up and destruction of the infringing materials, then the third one is accounts of profits and the fourth one is injunction. Injunction is given when the information has not yet been divulged but it is likely that unauthorized disclosure will occur. So that is with confidential information and trade secret. The trade secret as well as the patent application they come under confidential information only to the point until they are made public. Once they are made public, they are not confidential information. So, thank you for listening. I hope this helps. If you like this, please uh, click the like button and please subscribe to the channel to support me. Thank you and have a nice day.